Welcome to the art project. I'm working on a portrait right here that is nothing big, nothing special, except that I am doing this with charcoal that I made myself. So if you are interested in making your own charcoal, let me show you how I did it. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. So this one, you don't have to have a uh, lumber like this, but it just so happens that I do. Cut it uh, to just smaller pieces, like three inches long, and then I also went out and I cut some pieces off of trees. I've got uh, a fig tree, and I just cut a little bit off. You don't want to hurt your tree, obviously, and get permission from your parents if you need to. Um, I also picked some up off the ground, and I have a pine a pecan tree that I also got some from. You can use anything that you've got that is, um, well burnable if it'll burn uh, you can turn it into charcoal I think uh, and experiment with whatever you've got if you're using sticks you'll want to carve the bark off the outside of it the bark uh, supposedly does not do very well then I took it and I wrapped everything in tin foil aluminum foil you want to wrap it up kind of nice and tight and be careful not to tear holes into the um, aluminum foil when you do this. My sticks were a little bit too big so I went ahead and cut them in half so that I would have smaller sticks. Uh, you want to wrap them in the aluminum foil because basically you don't want any oxygen to be able to get to them. If the oxygen can get to it, it will catch flame, it will burn even more, and it will eventually um, turn to ash. But if you can slow cook it without any oxygen, then um, everything will cook to carbon. I don't really know what all the science is behind it and I'm not going to pretend like I do. I'm just showing you the steps that I took and that you can take without even knowing all the science. So I wrapped up some sticks. Now I'm going to wrap up these um, pieces that I cut. I like these pieces that I cut a lot but I think the sticks that I got from the tree and from the ground actually did a little bit better than these. And I've got like three or four different kinds of um, blocks of wood that I, I do. I've got some maple and some pine and some cedar. And I, then I even took a huge chunk of 2 by 4 like bigger than a bar of soap, and wrapped it up real tight. Wouldn't hurt to uh, put two layers of aluminum foil, I don't think. Um, I did not. But in the name of keeping oxygen from getting to it, that would be a good way to go, I think. I put it on my uh, grill. Again, talk to your parents and get permission. Good. Uh, and I just let it go at high heat. And I checked on them about every uh, 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, I ended up letting them go for about 30 minutes. I probably need to go longer on the block of 2x4 than I went. But uh, you can you know, kind of experiment with it. All of this is an experiment, and that's one of the yep. things about art mm. is the process and the mm -hmm. um, doing things yourself. So here they are. Uh, pouring them out on the table here so you can see. You can kind of tell the difference between the, the round sticks that I cut from the tree and the blocks of wood. Notice how they, uh, as the moisture and everything is leaving them, they... Uh, shrink and contort and crack so, so um, you want to get what, don't, yeah, don't, six are a little bit larger than yep, you so expect you not, to draw you, with you might not need to touch uh, the big block was kind of a, a fail I don't think that I cooked it long enough and it didn't really make the marks that I was hoping it would make uh, but like I said the, the smaller sticks actually worked a lot better so on this piece of paper, I just wanted to practice and see what they look like. Uh, this is the pecan. It smears good. It erases good. It makes marks good. This was the fig. Again, it makes pretty good marks. It smears pretty good, and it erases. This is a piece of maple, and it makes a big, thick line, which was fun. And you can see how it can get different uh, values, and it erases okay, too. Uh, this was the, what was that, um, pine, I think, or maybe it was a cedar, I don't remember. Anyway, 
uh, it worked out all right. The pine worked out pretty good. And then, uh, like I said, I, I still believe that the pecan sticks and the fig sticks straight from the tree worked as well as anything else. Uh, everything was pretty much the same, made good marks, made different values, except for this one. Uh, and I guess it still worked a little bit too, but it felt different. Um, so I just don't think it was cooked enough. Get rid of these crumbs. You can see it still smears. Uh, you can make darks and lights with it, and it erases. So let's get down to business. Let's see if we can actually make a drawing out of this. So I picked this uh, one stick, I think it's a piece of maple, and I just began drawing a face, just dove right in. So the main reason that I'm making this video is that because of the coronavirus, we're all kind of stuck away from school and we don't have the materials that we would normally use like charcoal and yet we are still required to do drawings and make things so I uh, wanted to show you how you could just you know even without really having anything if you've got a grill at home and some sticks in the yard you can make your own drawing materials um, use caution be careful this is my little disclaimer if you get burnt or hurt please don't blame it on me I didn't do it don't try this at home unless you need to and you have parental supervision um, be very cautious let it cool one thing I forgot to mention was that after 30 minutes of cooking let it cool for another 10 or 15 minutes and then be careful that there's not anything still burning on it when you pour it out blow on it a little bit and if you see anything glow red don't touch it that's still on fire um, I basically scraped some of the fire off of it so that it was no longer on fire and uh, let it cool down, of course. There it goes. Now it's your turn to go make some art with homemade charcoal.